Welcome back. In my series on postcolonial concepts and ideas, today I'll be briefly talking about the Negritude Movement. Now, the Negritude Movement was launched by Francophone African scholars and writers in France slightly before the Second World War and after the Second World War. In their basic assumptions, what they were trying to promote was a sort of an African universalism which was also slightly essentialized. Their idea was that people of the African descent or African culture somehow possess certain unique artistic, aesthetic, and other qualities, and that these qualities are inherent to Africans and they apply to them, but also to the diasporic African communities. And that these ideas, their works, their art, driven by these inherent capabilities and aesthetics needs to be accounted for and taken into account and talked about and valorized for its own sake and not in comparison to its European counterparts. Now the leading uh, founders and critics of this of course was Leopold Senghor who eventually becomes the Senegalese Prime Minister, Diop, and to some extent, Aimé Césaire and others. Uh, now they eventually, so it is it's kind of a culturalist, essentialist movement, but it has a huge power because they are the first ones to launch their own journal. They start publishing African works and start promoting African arts and literature in France, in Europe, but in the rest of the world as well. And so as a movement, regardless of its essentialist tendencies, it's a very important movement pre-Second World War and post-war. Eventually, Singor and others also are the ones who kind of lead the pan-Africanist trend in Africa because their idea was that Africans should develop, like Sinor actually wanted, a United States of Africa. And it's that idea against which famously Fanon is writing his famous essay on nationalism, where Fanon suggests that, no, we first need to develop streamlined, strong national identities in Africa, and then beyond that we can go to a pan-African identity, even though the early Fanon was himself trying to theorize an African humanism. So overall, it was an artistic and literary movement with its political claims about valorizing and privileging African culture, African art, and African traditions. But in defining Africanness, they were somewhat essentialist. Even though Sinor eventually you know, responds to it and writes an article where he says that no, we are relying on culture and politics to define Africa, but by and large, the critics considered negritude a sort of a nativist, Africanist, but essentialist movement. Despite all these things as a movement, it had a huge impact on retrieving, publishing, circulating African works African arts in France, in Europe, and United States, but also in establishing sort of a vanguard of African intellectuals who then branch out into different fields of arts and literatures. And in that sense, the Negritude movement was a crucial milestone in the development, articulation, and eventual unfolding of Africocentric arts, literature, and politics. I'll post more resources in the description, but this is my brief introduction to the Negritude movement. If you have any questions, feel free to send them my way, and as always, post your questions in the comments. And for all this, and for you joining me, I am always thankful. And as always, my message, peace and love.